ಶರ್ಮಣೀಯದರ್ಶನ ಮಂದಹಾಸರುಚಿರಾನಾಂಬುಜ ಪೂಜಿ ಸುರನರೋತ್ತಮೇರ್ಮುದ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಶ್ರೀಹರಿಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾರಾಜನೀ ಜಯ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ ಮಹಾರಾಜನೀ ಜಯ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅವರ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಗುರುಜಿ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಜಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಭಗತ್ ಜಿ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆವಟಿ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಜಯ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಮಹಾಪೂಜಾ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಹಿಂದೂ ರಿಚುಯಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ completing the ceremony of adorning the whether it is the form of god or any other completing the ceremony of worshiping the form of god then after the next step is to do vandan means offer our humble attitude or our own feeling towards the form of god and that is called vandan bhakti so in the sequence in the scripture it is also mentioned just after the archan bhakti that is vandan bhakti in devotion by this way we can attach our heart to the form of god and that is why this is devotion because the meaning of devotion it clarifies that only any how or by any means when our heart our mind is is attached to the form of god that is our devotion now in vandan bhakti generally we think about this type of devotion and at the time we all as a devotee of bhagwan guess that just merely bow down to the feet of bhagwan that is vandan sometimes somebody may think that merely joins one's both hands and just slightly bow one's head in front of bhagwan that is vandan but when we go in deep in spiritual world then that is not only devotion because when our heart our sentiment mixed with our physical any action then that action become devotion otherwise that is not devotion but merely a labor work in shiksha patri bhagwan swami narayan himself had written about this vandan bhakti and bhagwan had written in in the 77 and 78 words about the eight types of vows which we all should have taken in chaturmas bhagwan has included this vandan bhakti in these eight types of vows eight types of rules which we have to follow during the chaturmas 
सो इन दिस वर्ड्स भगवान हैड रिटर्न लेइंग डाउन प्रोस्ट्रेट बिफोर द फॉर्म ऑफ गाड मीन्स वैन वी प्रोस्ट्रेट इन फ्रंट ऑफ भगवान दैट इज डिवोसन बट हाउ टू डू दिस डिवोसन बिकॉज मेरली वन ले डाउन बिफोर द फॉर्म ऑफ गाड दैट इज नॉट डिवोसन बट इन स्क्रिप्चर दैट इज पर्टिकुलर मैथड हाउ टू डू प्रोस्ट्रेशन बिफोर द फॉर्म ऑफ गाड अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर शास्त्र दंडवत इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज अस्टांग प्रणाम मीन्स देर आर एट टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग्स बाई वीच वी कैन ऑफर दंडवत एंड दैट इज वाई दिज एट टाइप्स ऑफ एट पर्टिक्युलर थिंग्स एंड दैट इज वाई इट कॉल एज अस्टांग प्रणाम वीच आर दे our two hands our palms both of legs our chest our forehead then the important thing is this two remaining and that is <coughs> when we offer this devotion to god at that time either we should sing any praise for god or any kirtan any prayer whatever we remember but at the time we should sing whether loudly or in our mind but because this is the one of one pa- this is the one of the part of this ashtang pranam so we should sing and then after the last one is also engage our mind what we are singing at the same time we should remember the form of god in our mind and mix in it our sentiment our love for god and when by heart with our pure love we offer anything to god that is our devotion so while offering dandwat before the form of god we should remember in our mind we are not merely just offering this or not we are just exercising body but we are doing devotion we are engage ourselves in in bhakti so we should be conscious about our devotion about the form of bhagwan and at the same time we should remind ourselves that i am doing devotion of bhagwan and remember the greatness of bhagwan how the great bhagwan is we should remember at the same time the real glory of bhagwan and when we re- understand and when we remember when we recall while done with the glory and greatness of bhagwan at the time it is not our body laying in front of god but our heart our heart forces us to laying in front of god and that will become our devotion without any sentiment when we even thousands times laying before the form of god that is not our devotion no doubt that will gain that will become an exercise and that will strengthen our body but not our heart not our devotion so this is what the important thing is that now after now we have 
listen how to do dhanwat but even after knowing the method of dhanwat somebody says how many dhanwat i should have to do every day or in the puja or even after prayer for that bhagwan swami narayan has said in this vachanamrut that is 40th vachanamrut of gurudev second chapter let's see what bhagwan has says swami narayan hare if however one does somehow harm a duty of god then one should verbally pray to him for forgiveness let's see in this world when we have committed any mistake or when we by mistake disturb any other person then immediately we say him sorry i'm extremely sorry right similarly in spiritual world when by mistake knowingly or unknowingly when we disturb any other devotee of bhagwan or when we violate any rules of bhagwan or scripture at the time we should also say sorry to bhagwan and other devotees but in spiritual world the method is different bhagwan describe the thing in this vachanamrut so one should verbally pray to him for forgiveness in spiritual world if we say sorry to devotee our bhagwan that is not enough but bhagwan says and physically and mentally one should prostrate before him and re- resolve to behave in such a manner so as to never harm him again not only say him sorry but bhagwan says here we should prostrate before him and bhagwan clarify that physically as well as mentally sometimes if it is not possible for us to prostrate before any deity or bhagwan such circumstances is like that so at the time we should also we can offer dandwat bhagwan as well as the deity of god mentally and not only this but after offering him a dandwat we should also resolve in our mind that i will not do the same mistake in future otherwise what happen we say sorry to other any person and after some times or a day we make the same mistake that is not our that is not our good attitude that is merely just once say sorry and then again do the same mistake that is not a character of a good person so a uh, perfect duty of god always resolving his mind after asking forgiveness from god and duty of god that i will not make the same mistake in future however one should not behave in such a way that one performs prostrations after harming someone once only to then harm him again and perform prostrations again so this should not be repeated today if we have breach any command of bhagwan and say him sorry offer him 100 prostration before the form of god and tomorrow again makes the same problem 
make the same mistake, means breaching the same rules of Bhagwan, that is not our devotion. Even though in this way we offer hundred or thousands prostration before the form of God every day, but Bhagwan is not ready to accept our prostration because we are not following his command. So Bhagwan says that so that you remember this fact daily from today all sadhus and all devotees should observe the following vow. After performing puja of God one should offer prostration according to one's daily practice. After this to compensate for having knowingly or unknowingly harmed a duty of God by thought, word or deed during the day, one should perform one extra procession daily. This is my command, so please do abide by it. So, the fact is mentioned in this line that one should also offer prostration not only in front of Bhagwan but also in front of devotee. If we cannot understand or realize our mistake, our bad behavior with other devotee, at the time we should prostrate in front of Bhagwan and asking forgiveness from Bhagwan. Because in daytime we have performed many activities with other devotees or at the time of any celebration in the temple we have to do many activities, many service with the deity of Bhagwan, and at the time knowingly or unknowingly when we disturb any devotee at that time, if we are busy in our service, we are busy in doing any activity and we forget to ask forgiveness from a devotee of God. So, after completing puja, Bhagwan says that one should also offer one extra prostration in front of God for forgiveness of harming a devotee. By these commands of Bhagwan, by these divine words of Bhagwan, we should also understand the glory of deity. Because when one harm any single deity of Bhagwan, Bhagwan will never please upon that deity. If he had not asking forgiveness from the deity. Because Bhagwan himself said in Vachnamrut that I am, Bhagwan says that I also have fear in my heart that even unknowingly if I harm any duty of Bhagwan. So it is how important not to harm any duty of Bhagwan. This is what the glory of duty. Because in the heart of devotee, a true devotee, God always resides. And that is why it is said that a devotee of God is also similar to the Bhagwan. And that is why we should also every day offer prostration before our Guruji, before the Santo, and even before devotees. But in this world, in particular today's time, some non devotees or some non believers may argue that no doubt it is good to offer done word in front of Bhagwan, but it is not good to offer done word to the Santo. But this is not true. 
Why? Because it is not merely the command of Bhagwan for us, but Bhagwan Swaminarayan has described this glory of devotee and the method to prostrate before the devotee of God by his own behavior. Once upon a time, Sriji Maharaj was in Kundal and Santo Muktanand Swami and other non Santo they were in Vichran in different villages. During the Vichran, non Santo had to suffer many, many hardships. Sometimes they have to suffer from a very worse word from non-believers. Sometimes they have to even suffer from not only bad words, but sometimes non-believer also used to beat the santo. Many times they have to tolerate hunger, thirst. In this manner, non Santo at the time had to suffer many things. So, one day, a group of Santo were arriving at Kundar and Maharaj knew this message that Santo would come to see him in Kundar. Then Maharaj mounted on his horse and went to meet the Santo. In the way, when Bhagwan saw from some distance the group of Santo, then Bhagwan dismounted from his horse and Bhagwan himself even though he had no need to do these things, but Bhagwan cannot remain in his, in his normal condition. And Bhagwan himself start, started to prostrate before the Santo. In the one side, Santo offered prostration to Bhagwan, and on this other part, Bhagwan himself also offered prostration, means done what, to Bhagwan. In the history of our satsang, such incidents is not written only in one time, but Bhagwan had given us the same divine pastimes many a times. So if Bhagwan can do Danwar to Santo, then why we cannot? It is our duty, it is our part of devotion to offer Danwar not only Bhagwan but also his Santo. Why? Because Bhagwan himself had said in the Vachnamrut that I forever reside in the heart of Santo. And so when we offer Danwar to Sant, at the time we are not merely offering our Danwar, our devotion to Santo, but at that time we should, if we have such vision, if we have understood such glory of Sant, at that time we should visualize a Bhagwan in the heart of Sant and then offer Danwar to the sun. Another way, when we go any time to Gatida and we enter in the courtyard of Dada Khachar, means in the Dada Khachar's Darbar, we 
we we can easily see the prasad you know limb taru neem tree at the time what we do we offer prostration even the neem tree why because he had once contact of bhagwan shri ji maharaj himself used to do katha under that neem tree so by understanding his, the glory of that neem tree we offer downward to that neem tree now come back to the point this santo has also contact of bhagwan not only once in life but even today even this present moment means he had contact of bhagwan forever and so if we can understand the glory of neem tree why we cannot understand the same glory of bhagwan's devotee so before applying this method of devotion means vandan bhakti we should clear our mind with all kinds of doubts and feel our heart feel our mind feel our intellect with glory of bhagwan glory of devotee glory of santo when we understand real glory of devotee then our mind will never ask us why should we do dhanwat to santo why should we do dhanwat to hari bhakto our heart accept the glory of bhagwan glory of devotee glory of santo and by this way it is not our we uh, we do not need to force our body to lay down before the devotee or sant or bhagwan but our heart our heart inspire our body to do dhanwat before the santo and bhakto this is what the real meaning of vandan bhakti now bhagwan had given us the command to do extra dhanwat every day after performing puja somebody may ask if we have not committed any sins through day time or not harm any devotee then why should we do dhanwat means one extra dhanwat then the answer is that we have committed any if we have not committed any sins but knowingly or unknowingly we have violated any command of bhagwan through day time and if we cannot realize our mistake means when and where in which manner i have committed or i have breaching the command of bhagwan then just realize bhagwan has many times described how to behave with our own self in the vachanamrut and in other scriptures that we are not this body we are pure chaitanya we are atma we are soul but how many times we can realize this thing in the day time so in this manner we should understand our fault not to behave as atma that is our mistake and even for this mistake we should do extra dhanwat after performing puja how many times we can remember the form of bhagwan 
in day time this is also the point of consideration because this is also our fault not to remember the form of god to forget the rem- to forget remembering the form of god this is also our biggest fault and so for asking forgiveness for this mistake we should also offer one extra dhanvat in front of bhagwan so now today we just try we say bhagwan oh maharaj i am very poor duty of you please forgive me because i always do dhanvat in front of you but even after asking forgiveness from you i repeatedly committed the same sin to forget your form so please give me forgiveness and i will always without failing offer you one extra prostration offer you one extra dhanvat with this prayer let we do ourselves let we do engage ourselves in this devotion hari krishna maharaj ni jai